Today is a Tuesday, September 12, 2023. Massive flooding devastates Libya as dam failures engulf communities in torrents. As per authorities, Libya is wrestling with a staggering catastrophic event as heavy downpours from Tempest Daniel unleashed ruin in the northeastern district, bringing the breakdown of two dams and the broad away of whole neighborhoods into the ocean. The city of Derna, which endured the worst part of the calamity, is detailing a dismal cost, with more than 2,000 individuals dying and roughly 6,000 missing. The Libyan Public Armed Forces representative, Ahmed Mismeri, expressed that the dams surrendered to the staggering floodwaters, prompting the annihilation of three scaffolds and the resulting submergence of whole local locations in the ocean. Starting evaluations from the Red Sickle in Benghazi demonstrated a loss of life of 150 to 250 individuals in Derna, as detailed by Reuters. Osama Ali, the top of Libya's Crisis and Emergency Vehicle Authority, shared the nerve-wracking fallout, making sense that the released waters tracked down their direction to an uneven beachfront locale close to Derna. Homes and valleys were quickly immersed by strong, sloppy flows, conveying vehicles and garbage. Correspondence lines in the city have been cut off, entangling salvage endeavors, and admittance to Derna remains upset because of broad obliteration. Ali recognized the deficiencies in readiness underlining that atmospheric conditions and factors like sea water levels, precipitation and wind speeds had yet to be completely surveyed. He regretted that Libya was not ready for a disaster like that. It has not seen that degree of fiasco previously. We concede there were inadequacies even though this is when we first confronted that fiasco, Ali told the al Hara channel. Miss Mary, the LNA representative, revealed that the flood's effect reached out to a few different urban communities, including Al-Baida, Al-Marj, Tobruk, Takanis, al Baida, and Bata, as well as the eastern coast prompting Benghazi. The circumstance is depicted as disastrous and exceptional by Osama Hamad, the top of Libya's eastern parliament upheld government. Recordings via virtual entertainment portray lowered vehicles, imploded structures and deluges of water flowing through the roads. Medical clinics in the eastern city of Beta were likewise compelled to clear because of extreme flooding brought about by the weighty tempest. The assembled country's backing mission in Libya firmly checked the crisis and vowed to help. Various nations have expanded their sympathies and offered help to Libya as salvage groups work indefatigably to find survivors underneath the garbage. Turkey's fiasco organization has focused on sending 150 hunt and salvage staff, tents, salvage vehicles, generators, and other fundamental supplies. The U.S. government office in Libya certified its nearby coordination with the assembled countries and Libyan specialists to give earnest help. Joined Middle Easterner Emirates President Zayd al Nahyan has coordinated help, search, and salvage groups to be dispatched while conveying his sympathies. Egypt's leader Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, likewise communicated sympathies to Libya and wanted a quick recuperation for the harmed. The extraordinary downpour came about because of the remains of Tempest Daniel, which had recently carried horrendous flooding to Greece before changing into a tropical-like twister known as a medication in the Mediterranean. These frameworks can release perilous circumstances like typhoons and storms, influencing waterfront nations. Northern Libya stays affected by the tempest's leftovers, which are step-by-step step pushing toward the east toward northern Egypt, with precipitation expected to arrive at 50 mm over the course of the following two days essentially higher than the locales normal for September. Thanks for watching and subscribing to the channel.